So this is that other grass that I was trying to get them to graze a little more. And this grass is still pretty thick in here. I know it doesn't look like they grazed it a whole lot, uh, but they really did. You can see that they grazed that in there. And see there's some tall grass there, but it, but you see this grazed grass there. So uh, they really did do a pretty decent job of go ahead and going ahead and grazing this grass. Uh, none of this was really even grazed yesterday uh, they just grazed this probably this morning and a little bit this evening and they did graze that other uh, they did graze that other grass that I showed you that had the little thicker blade on it uh, they did graze that a little more but they didn't graze it too short they grazed that just a little bit and then they came over and grazed this can see the areas that they they kind of went around and then come over here and you can see that they grazed this so they did really did a pretty good job of, of you know not being super picky and realizing that this area over here had more grass than than that area over there between them trees down on that end after they had already grazed it uh, probably once or twice. But there's still quite a bit of grass out here. It'll help, uh, you know, catch moisture, keep the, keep the ground covered. You know, one thing I want to show you guys, you know, uh, I was actually talking to my dad about this a little bit ago. This native grass, uh, the plant spacing is much further apart than fescue or some of the mother grasses, brome and clover and all that. So, you know, even when it looks like they've they've took it down and you can see bare soil there, uh, a lot of that is just the way that native grows. Uh, it doesn't grow near as tall and near as thick as fescue. And so a lot of times when it looks like it's been overgrazed, uh, actually the grass didn't start out that tall in the first place uh, just because of the nature of native grass. And the plant spacing is just different. So I just wanted to show you guys this grass over here and give you an update on how the cattle uh, went ahead and grazed it versus leaving it alone. I'll go down there to that corner and show you that grass real quick uh, before we end this video. Now this is the grass down there in the corner uh, that the cattle favor the most. You can see that they ate this grass down uh, quite a bit more than the other grass. And like I said earlier, even though it, it looks like they overgrazed it, if I can get down here and show you this grass here. Uh, there's still quite a bit of uh, grass that didn't get grazed. You know, there's there's my hand, and there's you know the top of that grass. So there's a lot more grass in there than it looks. Just seeing it on video. But this is by far the best uh, grass on the farm. Uh, maybe besides that uh, lot that I built up there by the house. Because uh, pretty much that whole lot uh, has this nice thick wide blade grass on it. But as far as out here in this open pasture, this area does have the best grass. But I'd say they still left plenty. And I don't think it got overgrazed. And I think it's going to recover just fine. It's going to be a long time before these cattle are back in here. Uh, as with all the paddocks. 
so it's gonna have plenty of rest and plenty of time to regrow. So I'm gonna get these cattle watered and uh, I'm gonna call that quits for tonight. Thanks for watching guys and I'll give you an update on the next move.